uh, right now, um, what I was going to talk about today is <laughs> you will never, uh, I think, I think you kind of, since I'm new at, you know, making videos <laughs> like this one and the one, the, you know, the ones all the way before, if we think out even the ones that were out of sync with the moving pictures and the sound. All right, so what we're going to do today is to talk about Star Wars Arcade on the 32X featuring Fats Domino's double album 44 great performances. All right, so what have they got in common? Mm, well, you know, mm, you don't know. <laughs> oh, I'm going to tell you. All right, so this is this is this is how I <laughs> see things or this is what I think. If we go into understanding uh, the way with you know uh, the game, the game Star Wars. If we want to understand it, we need to apply a method of willingness and patience and goodwill to do what is great for a greater cause. Uh, in my case, playing Star Wars 32X is like. Um, Getting a bit of my childhood back, even though I'm 31, because I wanted this game for so long since I was 12. It was in a glass cabin in the toy store, and I just saw it and said, oh, 32X, thinking to myself, oh, 32X, I just can't play one of those. I can't play that. You know, that was basically the, the, the thoughts that I have in, had in my head. And then there was this time when I kept on looking for it like a madman when I didn't have any money at all. And I couldn't, you know, I couldn't just get it. Then when I was a student before I ended up on a sick my last semester before I ended up on a sick list, 2015, I bought this uh, machine uh, from eBay at the time, a British eBay. Um, it was a 32X system. Uh, what I didn't understand at the time was that it was so confusing. I needed a bloody Model 2 adapter connected into it. When it was a Model 1 Mega Drive, oh, that was strange. That, that's what, at least that was why I, I was told at the time. And I sometime, after some time, even though I had some cables, I wrecked them totally and I used the force when I really shouldn't have done it. And I'm not speaking about force like use the force, I'm talking about force like heavy energy, kind of violent, kind of, you know, like that. Uh, um, a movement without the right balance of power to keep it into this Star Wars kind uh, vocabulary. The thing is that um, Star Wars Arcade is pretty similar to some of the computer games that, that I had uh, before I owned the 32X. X-Wing vs. TIE Fighter and its updated edition balance of power. The, the difference with balance of power and uh, X-Wing vs. Tie Fighter is that you have to comply with using a joypad um, and uh, various buttons on the keyboard uh, within the same timeline. And, and I mean, it's much more comfortable to have one of those handy six button controls from Sega that you know how to use and that you've always been using. I mean, if you're a Sega, uh, both like I, um, then, then the important thing is that we have the direction button that is smooth and responsive, and it's easy to press those buttons. So they, no, I can I can play the entire game using only two thumbs, and that that's it. You know, it never happened when I tried N64 or something. Like that. It was too difficult. I wanted to do a shot come from came into PlayStation. I might ruined everything. Anyway, what I was going to tell you about. Everybody says you need a 3D controller to play nice and dreams. Oh no no no. For many years, I was had only top scores because I played it often and, and tried to relax while playing it. It had nothing to do with having to use analog whatever thing. It has to do with the thing that you feel relaxed and you get into the groove uh, when you actually um, decide that this is what I want to do. I want to focus on learning to understand this game bit by bit and not worry, worry so much. It's, it's in the same um category as 
me being, um, you know, I, I have some experiences of having anxiety disorder. I don't think that will come to a surprise to any one of you, but I mean, I have been advised from shakes within the Shia society, from psychologists and everyone, parents, whoever. Everyone has advised me to listen to a bit of music to try and relax from that kind of pressure I have with the anxiety disorder. Because no one wants to get stuck stuck in destructive thinking. It's harmful, really. So, so that that is one of those advices I had um, to focus on music. And then we have to do do this uh, this take up again. This is a, a two disc set from Fats Domino. Uh, if we put aside the fact that many of these super groove tunes from this stable staple tunes staple tunes with solid dude always performing with professionalism um it's it's a bit of a letdown that some of the songs have shoddy shoddy shower shower like um balance in the instruments i mean i, I mean it, it ruins the groove and the melody when you have low profile stressful live appearances appearances even if you know the setup of songs is really good you can tell that Mm, anyway, listening to it is not is undemanding, and this is this is why I'm getting getting to hear the the, the 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 listening experience. This was the album of today that I focused on the most. Both of the discs today, actually, because the first one is called the Blue River Hill, and that doesn't surprise anyone. And then there's the wheeling and rocking. It's it's it's, it's, it's the second uh, disc. So this is not. The, uh, quality singles put out with the, the dynamic worthy of the artist, but it's uh, just, just some low budget setup with some um, off scale uh, live performances that are made by you know having this difficulty of balancing the sound of sometimes you hear the saxophone more than you hear hear the piano and he was an ace ace performer on the piano and he was always solid he never. He, never, he seems never to have been able to do anything wrong because he's, was so, he was such a uh, professional. Uh, and anyway, just I was thinking, I was thinking about this having that as um, today's album. Uh, what I did earlier today was that I actually completed the first uh, training stage um, that led me into trying. Um, rebel attack later on when it comes to Star Wars the UX. And as I say, if you learn to get a hold of the controllers, this arcade at home thing is a really great thing. I mean, th that is the bloody uh, crown achievement of the 32X uh, spectacle, all in all. I mean, the thing is, easy controllers, you don't have to toggle around with menus, you don't have to need any bloody keyboard, no jo joysticks, no cabinets, no bouncing around, you can just sit back in your sofa like this and you can, oh look, I'm in, I'm in space, I'm fighting uh, with the Rebel Alliance, I'm doing it because I, I feel I'm I'm up to it, you know, it's not, it's not depending on how many coins I have in my pocket or whatever, I just sit back and then there's even a training mode, as I said, there is a 32X mode, which is unique for the 32X, hence the name, 32X. So what's more is that I have to tell you, this is something even more important, and it's called having a complete inbox release. This is important because what you forget when you just try out the game without patience is that, oh well, I have no patience looking in, into this. Why is this? Why is this again? Why is this again? It's the instruction manual. I mean, it's in the instruction manuals of how to play the game. And it's also very, you know, it's, it's, uh, it's encouraging. It's, it's, it's written in a fun way. And, it, and I mean, it, it brings everything you need, really, uh, from what I did. And, and just by realizing I needed to, to read it through, um, what happened is that mm, I looked like this in the pages, like there, there was no problem to start with. So um, some of the menu informations are, are you know, super plus. It doesn't, we don't need all that. But, but then there were some aspects of the bloody um, 
manual which was pretty um essential and that is um that is what do you call it i will try to um look into it and i will show it to you um if i can I just, did you know the rest is menu about how to keep track of shooting how to use the laser cannon and why you have to be careful uh, when you use it and don't waste it as it is a resource that you you know you don't have endless supply of these things when you get past the training stage so the side must be locked on or your shot will be wasted indeed wasted these are things that maybe they are not surprises to you when you actually read them but the thing is um it is it is it is essential that you um learn how to how to focus um how to focus when to focus on even the smallest things in these games and and uh, more than that i think you should should um, think about one thing and that is um well yeah there is this uh, issue uh, learning how about the the learning about the gameplay and some of the things are obvious but still reading it in a relaxed setting this was the setting i had i was listening to 44 great performances even if the sound was not as, as, as dynamic as they they go when it's you know professional single cuts that are produced in a way produced in a way that preserves the dynamic of the full musical arrangement even though it wasn't it was a relaxed setting that i sat in and i read through some of the comments here <laughs> like this is where you when you're you know when the shields are down they noted that well they noted that this is the time where you should try to you know overthink this issue and how how they suggested that when when you're when you need to get away from the bloody sh ship and you have no shields working they said this is the time when you have to think about going back to the usual office work again so this is this is, i mean it has humor and and yet even though even though it thinks it's like a joke you think that oh well who needs all this anyway i mean reading it like this actually made me think about one thing i had never focused on before in playing this game even though i've had it for a few years now uh, it's like you know i bought the 33x for this game for wanting this game since i was 12 i bought this game for that reason and i did get the machine in 2015 but i didn't get this started working fully until when i moved here uh, the east of Quebec is, is, is like you know small villages between Uppsala and Stockholm whatever and something like that what you have to think about is that me reading this manual didn't really you know it wasn't a revelation so to speak because I had already tried X-Wing versus TIE Fighter and the, I mean and those I mean the commands and controls in in those games for the windows based uh, windows 95 based pentiums at the time they are more intricate and i don't think i can get one of those games today because it, my, my operating system it doesn't work with it i might be able to um find pipe fighter for os9 uh power max uh, but the problem with that is i have no interest in being a part of the galactic empire so the solution of getting it a, a game with smooth flow and delicate detail at the same time and both challenging gameplay and simple gameplay at the same time this is what i did getting a complete inbox star wars arcade release um complete inbox means this 
it means this and it means this this and this uh what is great about it if 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 you would if you must know um if you don't believe me i will try to convince you um because i read this manual today while listening to fats domino i was sitting on the sofa and nothing was problematic at all first i just flipped through it and just realized man that 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 aspect of accelerating or or hitting the brakes when flying is bloody essential to the gameplay i mean i have ran out of time several times not not being able to be in the hunting game to reach those type items because i haven't had any control on the accelerating or breaking i mean you need to accelerate to move forward if you can't find them and when you swarm with them you need to hit the brakes and you need to start shooting i mean you can only be up there with your gear if you can focus on aiming at uh, actual targets because you can't always rely on them bloody uh, homing systems that that are built in the port proton torpedoes but still i mean you can use the torpedoes also but i mean it's it, it's a slower form of attack and i have actually only used it at occasions when you know like in the training stage when you are commanded to use them in a certain certain situation when you're almost at the grind, ground floor of a space station and you have these uh, TIE fighters warming around you. I mean, the thing is, you need to get used to the mechanics before judging if the game is good or bad. And, and, and actually, with an arcade game, which is very straightforward, like Star Wars Arcade, one wouldn't think that there was so much... Um, fine-tuned strategy involved actually when you think about how to triumph in this game and even when you can't triumph i mean even when it's difficult it's really difficult when it goes past you know the introductionary um setup uh, when it goes onwards to that and when you get several missions and you're timed i mean you are timed in the training training uh, um, situation also but it's more forgiving i mean you can <laughs> finish things up in, in a few seconds that, that it doesn't really happen when you're in the arcade mode or especially not in the 32x or, uh, only mode because there is more challenge brought into everything and, and you need to be able to locate your targets and stay away from enemy fire at the same time. This means you sometimes have to accelerate to get closer and you somehow at times also have to push the brake button not to get too close or to collide into uh star wars um, you know the the imperial fleet or 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 another tie fighter because you mean they, they, all these things they are swarming around you at certain stages of the game so you need to be able to carry out your duty step by step if you want to have a lasting lasting time lasting fun time in in this game i mean it's not it's it's very forgiving that you have continued so as long as you feel like going on you can go on and you shouldn't even you shouldn't really have the pressure to complete everything because i mean that takes away uh, part of the fun to just be flying around and feeling the spectacular spectacular groove that is really in this built in this uh, fantastic uh, game and I think this is why it was a launch title and uh, this is also reminding me of if you have your favorite level on um, Nights into Dreams like the Elliot level Frozen Bell because of the atmosphere because of the you know everything you can run around there are eagles everywhere you can pick up these orbs that that you know not not all the people playing Nights are aware that there is this uh, exploring exploring um, element in nights when you walk around and jump and and since there are no enemies that can get you at the time you only have to stay away from the alarm clock and and that is that is a, a real possibility if, when you become like used to the game mechanics and you can pick up some orbs before heading into the night uh, area where night picks up and starts flying and dashing all the way through i mean when it is you no know, those early stages if you learn to specialize your know-how in one level you will enjoy and you will continue to enjoy 